factors which will stabilize the bonding. So what are these different bond patterns? Here is a table. It's a very good picture again. Here you can find different bonds that can be found in DNA uh, helical diagram. The covalent bonds it is between uh, the carbon carbon and the carbon nitrogen which can be found in bases and sugars. This is, these are the actually real covalent bonds. And also the phosphodiester linkage is a very very good example of real covalent bond which is really stronger. That's why they have to make a strong bond of the backbone. If the backbone is weak, then the whole structure will get shivered off really very few hour, very after very few time. Okay, so they make their backbone really strong. But the other interaction like the hydrogen bonding between those bases are not that much strong. But the hydrophobic interaction is not that much strong. But still, they, they help to, to, to make or maintain the structure continuously. So this is the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs and also the stacking interaction between those bases. Though they are not that much stronger but they helps to maintain the DNA structure in such an amount because the hydrophobic nature of the bases uh, is preventing them to go towards the water molecule. So always when a DNA strand is placed in the solution, it always tries to make pair with itself. The hydrogen, because the hydrogen, uh, because the nitrogen containing bases always try to make a uh, bond with each other to, to, to go inward of the, to go out of the water, so to go facing out of the opposite of the water. That's what the divine force to maintain their structure, to make a compact structure. Okay. 